Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to do Chatty Get Ready With Me. Um, I've got some new products. I have a new foundation. I have a few products from Sigma that they have sent me. So uh, let's do it. So I have bought this foundation from Note Cosmetics. I have never heard of them. It is Detox and Protect Foundation with SPF 15 for all skin type with sweet almond oil, yeast extract and vitamin E. I chose the color 04 Sand. It comes in this bottle, plastic, with a pump and my hair on it. So, I think this color is a bit dark for me, but I have fake tan on, so it should be okay. So, let's try this. It's quite thick. I like the undertone of it. It's quite neutral, almost a bit green, like olive, which I like. It's very hard to get a foundation with an olive undertone. Do you know, I've had it for a while. I tried it really quickly one day, but I can't remember what it was like. So it has medium coverage and I'm sure you can build it up. So here's the difference. It looks nice. And this foundation is so inexpensive. I think I bought it for £9 or something like this. I think for me one layer is enough. It has very natural finish. It's not overly uh, luminous but it's not matte either. So yeah and the colour looks quite okay. For my concealer I want to try the Delilah Farewell creamy concealer. Do you remember they have sent it to me a while ago in Bali and this is crayon concealer so I have never used that. Well, let's see, I like the application because obviously it's a pencil. It is very creamy but this is so strange. It has a quite good coverage. I think you have a bit more control on how, how much you put on. Yeah, it's nice. It, it's not very, it's not cakey. It looks quite natural. Um, but I don't know if the coverage is as good. And if I keep building it up, will it get a bit too thick? Shall I try? If I just do it mostly here to brighten it up and I'm just using my finger for it, no sponge because I don't know how this formula would play with a sponge. Try it. Yeah, the sponge takes a bit away from it. I'm not sure about it. I think I maybe would use my normal concealer, you know, the traditional concealer, and maybe just highlight a bit with that one. I don't feel like I have the same coverage. But if you don't need as much coverage, if you don't have really dark under eyes, it does look really natural. So I'm going to just put a bit of my Milani Conceal and Perfect in 130. This is like one of my favorite concealers, you know.
yeah that definitely gives me better coverage right so all this is looking really nice this foundation looks like i don't even need to set it so i will set it very lightly with my lily lolo uh, mineral foundation but very lightly i will set under my eyes and i will do my brows off camera uh, because one is getting a bit hard of seeing <laughs> i have to get really closely so sigma sent me this tint and tame brow gel so you know my holy grail is the benefit 24 hour brow setter but i will set it with this and i see how i like it they sent it to me in clear but obviously they do them in different shades so i will do that and then i will come back Okay, so I've set my makeup. The foundation still looks really nice. Eyebrows. This gel has really, look how lovely it is. It has a really nice brush that brushes your brow hair really nicely, but sets it a bit, but it's not as strong as this. But because this is um, tint and set and tame, um, this could be good if you want some color in your brows so if you I've got clear one so it does work but I'm afraid nothing is going to be this this really um, you know this has almost like a hairspray effect on on your hair and I do put a lot of it so it is good depends what you want it for i really because you saw how thin my brows are i have to spend a lot of time to draw draw them and make them look decent so i really need something then to keep my hair in place so it doesn't look odd if you know what i mean okay now i am going to try this so sigma sent me sculpt palette which is highlight and contour palette it looks very nice let me quickly swatch them so the sculpting powders you've got faking it let me turn the light up a bit because i have a fake tan on and it's not showing so much so there it is then the middle one is throw shade i probably use this one and then hollow obviously this is for much darker skin you can use it as well if you know what you are doing with a proper skillful um sculpting i'm not skillful at it at all so i won't even attempt to use this one and now your highlighters shine on oh that's lovely just like a champagne one then pop in that looks a bit more sort of pinky has a bit of pink in it and 24k so this one is proper gold so obviously i probably would never use this or this but i could use them on my eyes so let's do i will probably use the middle one throw a shade throw shade this one Rifa 05 this is my favorite right now for bronzer they all have slightly coolish undertones so that's why they are good for um sculpting very lovely formula really really smooth and silky yeah really nice I will use the highlighter in a minute for my blush do you remember i got the wonder two uh, blushes and this one is in rosy and for that i'm going to use i really love this sigma f53 air this dual fiber for blushes I want to use this one because this one doesn't have any shimmer in it so I can then 
see what the highlighter is like. It's a really pretty blush, very delicate. Hmm, nice. I like that. Right, I probably will use that Shine On highlighter. Rifa 20. I want to be really careful because... Oh, that's really nice. Very small. You know, I don't use that much highlighters. I prefer blushes with a bit of shimmer in it, shine, glow. But yeah, this is really nice. And also remember you can use these as eyeshadows. So yeah, that's very nice. I don't know if I, I am not a fan of these palettes that have different shades for different skin tones because obviously I'm never going to use these two unless I use them for eyeshadows. I prefer to buy color that is for me. But I understand if you are a makeup artist or you do makeup on other people, then it's nice to have the choice. But like I said, the ones that you don't use on your face, you can use it on your eyes. But the formula is really, really lovely on these. Now the eyes. So remember, I've ha I have quite a few of these Sigma On A Go palettes. Um, the only one that I didn't get, so I bought some and I think uh, Sigma sent me some. The only one that I didn't buy was the rosy because it was a bit too pink, I thought. And fiery, this one. I thought, oh, it's a bit too orange. But oh my God, it's beautiful. Let me quickly swatch it for you. So that's breezy, apricot, campfire. Oh, that's gorgeous. Then truffle. Truffle. Oh my God, these are gorgeous. Sun Sprite, gold. Nice gold, the type of gold that I like. And Scorched. Oh my God. These are gorgeous. I can't believe that I thought this was the palette that I wouldn't like so much. And then you have Paradise, Summer Song, and Roasted. Wow. Doesn't it scream fall, autumn, autumn leaves, or for the summer sunset? Gorgeous. Right, what I'm going to do now is, because what I think I will do like I did before, I will take this bit of me doing the makeup and I will post it as a five minute eye. So I will speed up the makeup that I'm doing because this video, video will be far too long and I will post separate five minute eye with this palette. I might do it actually couple because I could do a couple of looks with it. And also, you know, when you, if you like a look and you can't find it then because I did it as a part of longer video, it's so much easier to then find it in my five minute eye playlist. Right, so I am going to do that. Oh, I've got another thing. This is Sigma Eyeshadow Base Primer and I presume they come in different colors. This one is called radiance let's swatch it here oh that's lovely so you can use it on its own on your eye you can use it just to highlight your inner corner or you can use it on your uh, lid under eyeshadow to make the eyeshadow pop i'm not going to use it all over my eye because i want to use the gold so i maybe use it in a corner later
right so this look came out lovely if you want to um, see exactly how I did it slower then I will have that video separately I'm going to try the this new Pat McGrath fetish eye mascara I bought it a while ago I haven't tried it so let's see don't like the brush too much it's too fat mind you I like some fat brushes It's okay, but I think I might use that as a topper for another mascara. I can tell straight away if I like mascara or not. So, not my favorite. My favorite right now is the Catrice Glam and Doll Sculpt and Volume Mascara in this sort of lilac -y tube because they do lots of Glam and Doll. So. This is my favorite mascara at the moment. Very inexpensive. I really like it and it's dried much darker I do really like it very cool don't think it looks too bad with this eye look let me just top it off so it feels comfortable as far as liquid matte lipsticks go it feels really good it doesn't you know like crust up and makes your lips feel really really parched but I still don't like the feeling so I usually just Top it in the middle with some sort of gloss so I don't have that dry feeling. Let me do it just, I have here the, this Too Faced. You see I just put it in the middle and that makes it so much more comfortable but you get the same power from liquid lipstick. Okay my lovelies, so these were all the new things that I had to try. Loved most of it not too keen on the mascara and the scalp palette but not because the bad quality it's just that it's not something that i would use i don't really use highlighters um i just use a bronzer and some sort of glowy um blush everything i have used will be listed in the description box below this video i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous Bye.